here in Abu Dhabi for welcoming us so warmly and for taking interest in the Women in Technology program. Now I'd like to share a story that exemplifies the human impact of this project and the drive and capability of the women who participate. Huda is paralyzed from the waist down. She has spent her entire life in a wheelchair. Despite her physical limitations, she finished secondary school and won a scholarship to study with women in technology. Huda says, taking the Microsoft Unlimited Potential course opens wide possibilities for me to find a job. Huda considers it her first step to reaching out to the world through information technology. For Huda and women like her, e-literacy is a window to the world and a powerful communication tool. She is now a trainer at the Khadija Center for Training the Handicapped in Yemen's Yarim province. Huda helps and inspired, inspires other disabled women to achieve their dreams. Today I will share with you the key partnerships and the unique components that make this program so successful. The Middle East Partnership Initiative, or MEPI as we call it, of the U.S. Department of State has invested nearly $5 million in women in technology since the program's launch in 2005. Its funding covers nearly all program costs from curriculum development and salaries to travel, supplies, and materials for nine program countries. MEPI emphasizes partnership with the private sector, NGOs, local governments, and local organizations. MEPI models partnership as much as it promotes it. It works collaboratively with implementers to ensure its, fund, its programs it funds are successful. Private sector support is key to the success of this program. We are grateful for our strong partnership with Microsoft Corporation. Microsoft provides training and curricula aimed at increasing e-literacy among women. It has donated its unlimited potential curriculum for use at our 50 local partners. Microsoft's commitment to women in technology has enabled us to expand to new partners and to develop our new entrepreneurship workshop. Microsoft provides startup money for winners of our business plan competition. Microsoft local offices have donated computers and office furniture to organizations in need. Microsoft gives our program global brand name recognition. 
I have the privilege to develop and manage women in technology at my organization, the Institute of International Education. We are proud to implement women in technology in collaboration with our local partners. The Institute has been working in the field of international education and training for 90 years. We are an independent, nonprofit organization with a mission to foster mutual understanding and develop global leaders. The Institute implements more than 250 programs each year in more than 175 countries. Our sponsors include corporations, foundations, government, and government agencies worldwide. IIE has a strong commitment to the Middle East. One third of the 20,000 participants in our programs each year come from countries in the Middle East and North Africa. In Abu Dhabi, <coughs> the Institute manages several projects, including the Global Initiative for Breast Cancer Awareness, funded by the <coughs> Health Authority of Abu Dhabi, and the New York University Abu Dhabi Scholars Program. Women in Technology is all about partnership and adaptability. The program's flexibility allows local partners and their priorities to drive its direction. We employ locals to manage the program, and we work through local women's organizations. The program takes a unique path in each community and country where we operate. Here in the United Arab Emirates, we have the great fortune to be led by our strategic partner, the General Women's Union. The General Women's Union relentless dedication and support have made our success, recognition, and expansion possible. The organization's strong leadership allows women in technology to flourish beyond expectations. In 2008, the UAE Ministry of Education gave official accreditation to the Women in Technology program due to the General Women's Union's tireless efforts. It is thanks to the General Women's Union that we have the honor to present this program to you today.